Good morning and once again welcome to this YouTube channel Pain Free Partha and also you can visualize my slides after downloading from www.painfreepartha.com. Today's topic is about isomerism and anesthesia. It is something like a, uh, it's a relatively difficult topic relating to chemistry of drugs. So when you go to isomerism and anesthesia, what is isomerism? Isomerism is two or more compounds have the same atomic formula but a different structural arrangement, different properties may be there. So two compounds, same atomic formula but different chemical structure. This is structure. This is what is this? Isomerism. Basic types are structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. Now we will go to what is structural isomerism. The structural isomers are molecules that have identical chemical formulae but a different order of atomic bonds. The formula is same C6, F6, H6 or something like that. But here the F is here, there the H is there. Here the F is here, there the H is there. That is what is the structural isomer. They are molecules, identical chemical formulae, but a different order of atomic bonds. Now same actions, they may be having same actions or different actions. Now you see anesthetic agents, isoflurane and enflurane. These are all structural isomers and they have almost the same action. But sometimes this is here, this H is here, this F is here you can see. So that is what I told. Total number of fluorine, all these things will be same. But this where this atomic order is different. So that is what is structural isomerism between n-fluorine and isofluorine. That is why it is named as isofluorine. It is an isomer of n-fluorine. There are certain names like that. Because this contains seven fluorine atoms, it is called sevofluorine. Something like that. N-fluorine and isofluorine. Now you see, this, these are also structural isomers. There is some difference in the atomic structure. But they are completely different actions. One is a dihydrocodine, another is a dobutamine. Now we have seen structural isomerism with same action and different actions. What are they? They have the same chemical structure, but the atomic, this thing here, here from there, FH, sometimes HF, like that. Now we go to tautomerism. This is also some sort of structural isomerism. Or we can say configurational isomerism. It will come back again. Tautomers are organic compounds that are interchangeable by a chemical reaction precipitated by a change of the physical environment. Now, your metasolum is there in the wire. The structure is different. Now, as soon as you give it, the change is there in the physical environment. It goes and lies in the blood. So, it changes. This is called tautomerism. Now, I am telling the reversible ring opening of metasolum. This is water soluble and this is lipid soluble. As soon as it reaches a pH of more than 6, that is around 7.3 in our body, then it becomes the ring closes here and it becomes more lipid soluble. Again, you can see this is keto form and enol form of barbituric acid. Stereoisomerism describes those compounds. Now we know structural isomerism is almost over. We are going into stereoisomerism. Stereoisomerism describes those compounds which have the same molecular formula and chemical structure but a different three-dimensional configuration. Now if you have like this, it will be like this. So chemical formula is same. Atomic formula is same, molecular formula, that's what is same, but a three-dimensional configuration is different. So that is what is called stereoisomerism. Same chemical structure, but different configuration. Non-superimposable mirror images like left and right hand 
is chirality. We cannot uh, superimpose. Again, the mirror, mirror images should not superimpose. I will come back to that with pictures. Now, one carbon, what is chirality? Chirality means the carbon or the N4 is satisfied by four different compounds. Carbon has got four valency. All the four valency should be satisfied by a different atom. That is what is called chiral center or a chiral carbon. So this is a chiral carbon because one is bromine, one hydrogen, one is fluorine and one is chloride. This is what is called a chiral carbon. See, this is also bromine, hydrogen, methyl and Cl. But you can see this is a chiral because 1H and 2H. So this is what is called chirality. One carbon or one quaternary IM is satisfied with four different chemical groups. That is what is called chiral. Sometimes one molecule can have different or many chiral carbons. Here you can see this is the chiral carbon. You can see one, two, three chiral carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six chiral carbons. There may be many chiral carbons in one molecule. Now, this is the two-dimensional representation. I am going again to clearly explain the stereoisomerism. Now, we can see these structures cannot be superimposed. This is R4, like this. This is what is called a change in the three-dimensional structure. Now, what is, I am very clear, yes, non-superimposable mirror image. This is the mirror, the left side, the right side. We just we just push these things. It becomes this. So it is a superimposable mirror image. Now you can see this is the left hand, right hand. This cannot be superimposed. This mirror images cannot be superimposed. If you go to a mirror and it, it cannot superimpose. This is what is called a non-superimposable mirror image chiral hand. Very clear it should be chiral objects. Non-superimposable mirror image. Now, what is geometric isomerism or cis-trans isomerism? It's orientation of functional groups within the molecule. Now, we have one functional group. For example, a, a molecule has got bromine as an active group. There will be two bromine atoms. One is this side and one is that side means it is different. That is what is called trans. If active group, the bromine is there in the same side, then it is called cis trans. Cis. Now I am going. To, now example bromine is an active. Now here the bromine is on the same side. 1, 2, dibromoethene. Same thing. 1, 2, dibromoethene. But here you can see the bromine is here. This bromine is here. This is what is called cis trans isomerism. The active molecule should be on two different sides of the structure, then it is trans. The active molecule is on the same side, then it is called cis. So, cis trans isomerism. So, this is attractorium and cis attractorium, but there is small change in this. Attractorium is not typically trans, it consists of 10 isomers, out of which cis is one thing. So, that is what we should remember. Now, this is about cis trans. Now, we go to optical isomerism. These are all actually parts of stereoisomerism. I will again come back to classify this isomerism again. Optical isomerism are as the same in very way except being non superimposable each other. They are also called optical isomers because they rotate the, they rotate the plane of polarized light to the right. It is dextroisomer. To the left, it is levoisomer. These things we call as enantiomers, where the racemic mixture is 1 is to 1 of dextro component and levo component. This is what is called dextroisomer and levoisomer. The plane of polarized light is rotated to the right. I will again show the picture now. Now, this is an unpolarized light. It's going here. This is the polarizer. All these things makes a single plane like this. 
This is what is called polarization. Now you have a sample molecule like this. It rotates slightly here. Now you can see here, this is what is called, if it rotates to the right, then it is called dextroisomerism. We have got a dextroisomer here inside. So this is what is called D and dextroisomerism. There is something called, some basically they say, yes, yes, ketamine, yes, bupivacaine, levo bupivacaine, all these things. Levo means optical isomer, plane of polarized light to the left. Dextro means, dex means plane of polarized light to the right. Now we have, there is something called RS notation. This classification is being, which describes the molecule around the chiral center. R is for rectus right s yes, is for sinister left or rectus right s yes, sinister left now you see arrangement of molecule around the chiral center now you see here now one two three four this is rectus but here you see one two three four this is sinister this is s yes, and this is r that is what we say. If this arrangement is like this from the anti-clockwise direction of molecules, then they say, example, yes, ketamine. This is what R and yes. Isomers. Chiral switch. Why do you want switch? Yes, we don't. We want to be effective. We just want less side effects. We want to have See, all these things are changing. For example, it, it can change in the absorption. It can change in the metabolism. It can change in the excretion. Everything. It can change in the pharmacokinetics or dynamics. There is a tar efficacy. Everything will change. That is why we want chiral switch. Yes, amlodipine. So, you see, amlodipine is there. We are, yes, amlodipine. There is decreased pyridoedema. It, it, this, is, this is what is the chiral switch. Levocetrazine. We, this is cetrazine, more sedation. Levocetrazine, less sedation. Salbutamol, both components are there, resmic, but the tachycardia is less. It's little more cardioprotective, levosalbutamol. We have levodopa, we have s -etoprum. we have got s -varfarin. That is what is called chiral switch. We want to effect a good effect or less side effect. Now, what is the clinical scenario in anesthesia? Intravenous etomidate is a unique anesthetic. It is administered only as a pure isomer. Okay. Etomidate is a pure isomer. Yes, thiopentone was there. It was found to be twofold more potent. It has not become a market hit. The yes, ketamine is there two to three times more potent, less cardiac depression, and it does not cause and less intense hallucinations. It is coming up and ketamine itself is going down. So it may not come out to the market very well. This is what is called optical isomerism. Yes, and R ketamines. What is this R and S? R is rectus right. Yes, is sinister left. That means the arrangement of molecules is anticlockwise in S and clockwise in R. We all know everybody knows using dexmeditomidin, but meditomidin is the original molecule. You have a dextroisomer of meditomidin that is more potent and goes into the alpha adrenergic agonist better than this isomer without isomers. Now we go to inhalational agents. We know already n fluorine and isofluorine as structural isomers. These are not stereoisomers. Stereoisomers is different. They have a three-dimensional configuration. Here, structure molecule is different. This is structural isomerism. See, stereospecific, there are certain effects. Anesthetic potency of racemic isofluorine. Yes, they are also come like this. Atracurium has four chiral centers and three cis, cis, four cis, three cis. Yes, I have already told cis atracurium is R, R dash optical isomerism of cis, cis configuration. Gantacurium is a new muscular agent metabolized by cysteine. L16 can become a promising reversal agent in the future. Levo pipivacaine. What is this levo again? Levo means polarized light to the left. 
less myocardial depression than bupivacaine and ropivacaine. Electrophysiological studies have been carried out that blockade of inactive sodium channels is stereoselective and D isomer is more potent. That is why more cardiotoxicity with D isomer. So we have come across, come out with levobupivacaine to decrease the cardiotoxicity of the D isomer. Now you see, this is the bupivacaine and this is the levobupivacaine. Ropi itself is different. We have got yes, ropivacaine only. There's a small thing, but we should know because this dextro-levo isomerism is a type of optical isomerism relation to optical plane polarization. It's slightly switched over. Some names are coming up as R and S. Newer things are coming as R and S. So ropivacaine is coming as R, bupivacaine and levopipivacaine. Introduction into clinical practice of a number of single isomer NSAIDs. Yes, naproxen. Yes, ibuprofen. Yes, ibuprofen. Yes, tramadol. So many things are coming out. See here, isoflurine, theophylline and theobromine. So many things. Isoprenaline and osiprenaline. See here, metaprolol and butoxime. Diazepam and mesendol. Morphine and codeine. So many things. Galanthamine and retardrine. Bethidine and something else. See here, nalorphine and thymine, cortisone, prednisolone. All these things are structural isomers. See here, dopamine and this thing. Edrophonium and ephedrine. Edrophonium, you know everything. And ephedrine is totally different. One isomer, we all have these things. These are all two isomers. Even see, glycopyrrolate, atropine. We all know levosimendan. It's a cardiac tonic drug. It's approved for short-term acute management of decompensated congestive heart. It comes as a LEU, 47 times more potent than its dextrosimendan. Whenever the, we don't think when we see a name like levocitrosin, what is inside is a levorotatory isomer of citrosin. That is what, after this topic, that is going to go in your mind. Agonist, antagonist effects is a more potent but have shorter terminal half lives. Less complex, more selective pharmacodynamic profile. Less complex pharmacokinetic profile. Reduced complex drug interactions should be less. Plasma concentration and effect should be simple. This is what we want to need switches. Sevoflurane, propofol, no chiral centers. Now we want structural isomerism, stereo isomerism, configurational, geometric and optical, or certain conformational. Cis trans is a type of geometric. Optical is non superimposable. This is what we want as enantiomers, dextro and levo. Levo bipivacaine. Here you can see this is tautomerism and positional structural isomerism. There are metamerism, all these things, ring chain. This is what we saw. When metazolum and barbitrates. Yes, do they have the same molecular formula, isomers? Then it is sometimes called same connectivity is not there, then constitutional, stereoisomers, and configurational and conformational. This is geometric and optical. Optical is diastereomers and enantiomers. Now, this is compounds or non superimposable mirror images. The superimposable mirror images. Optical. Optical means what? Optical means dextro leave. Geometric means cis trans. This is what we need to understand. So, what is isomerism? Yes, we know types structural and stereo. Stereo is basically classified into geometrical and optical. Geometric is cis trans and Optical is about all these things. Examples we know ketamine, yes, ketamine, bupivacaine, tramadol, butoprofen, and fluorine, so many things. We need this because we need pharmacokinetic advantages and pharmacodynamic advantages. There are a lot of clinical uses, like see here dexmeditomidine, we have levocitrosin tablet, so many advantages. Sir. So, thank you very much for patient listening. Thank you all.